Hey, welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Prepper here. And today I have a small grocery outlet and Dollar Tree haul. Um, the other day I went, uh, I'd never been to a grocery outlet before, so I wanted to see what they had. Uh, on my side of town, we have a grocery advantage. And what they do is they sell it for a price and then tack 10% on and sometimes I go there and I get my uh, sodas and they have some gluten-free items that I can get there and they have really good canned fruit so but I don't go there very often uh, but I did go to grocery outlet and I wanted to see what they had um, so I'm just gonna go run through and show you what I got I spent um, $22.15 at Grocery Outlet. And what I got was, I got me a little small thing of grape to tomatoes so I can put it in a salad. Um, me and my tomatoes are having a fight right now. Uh, some daisy sour cream. So I like tacos and I like chili with sour cream and that goes really well and it's good till September so. And I use it to bake with sometimes also um i really don't like like buying bagged lettuce but um i bought a bag of hearts of romaine and um so that i can make myself some salad um uh I, I haven't tried to grow salad yet so i don't know what the you know what that would be like for me, but, um, and then I bought, I don't know how you guys feel, but, um, I bought deviled ham, okay, there's two servings in here, and you get eight grams of protein per serving, it says, or there's eight grams in there total, um, so that's about four grams per serving of protein, and you can, I usually just spread it on some crackers and sometimes I use mustard to go with it. Uh, I grew up eating this stuff and it's, uh, I did find it cheaper at Grocery Outlet than I have found it at other places. At Family Dollar, I can get it for $2 and then at uh, Walmart, they're almost three bucks a can. So I did find that a plus because this was $1.72 a piece. And that's even with the 10% tacked on. It's what Grocery Outlet does as well. So, I bought three cans of that. And it's got an expiration date of uh, October 7th, 2025. So, that's uh, a little over three years on that. Uh, and then, I don't know if y'all saw my Winn-Dixie video. But I found uh, some Mount Olive baby pickles in a bag and so I bought it and uh I think I paid a dollar something or maybe even just a dollar but at a uh, grocery outlet they had the kosher deal chips and I didn't find any gherkins but uh I bought three bags of these they were a dollar a piece and um I like to take pickles with me when I go to the beach um, and sometimes I just sit around and eat them but I like to keep pickles around also too because I have leg cramps sometimes at night and uh, I can get up and come in the kitchen and drink me some pickle juice and I usually just drink it straight from the jar because it's just me <laughs> so I ain't worried about catching nobody's you know germs so, I just usually just drink it straight from the jar, and within about 15-20 minutes, everything starts to ease up, and I can actually lay down and go back to bed. Um, so, I thought that was a good deal, and they're good till um, September of next year, 2023. Um, and then, I could not resist. I found some... Um, wide mouth lids for my canning jars these were two dollars and 37 cents no 273 
So less than $3 for a 12 pack of lids. And at Walmart, they're almost $5. So I was able to get two boxes for the price of about one. So, um, I probably will go back to Grocery Advantage just to stock up on, or Grocery Outlet, I'm sorry, to, to, just to get some more lids and some more of the devil ham. So, uh, I thought that was the best deal about the whole visit um, to Grocery Outlet was the canning lids and the devil ham for the cheaper price. So, um, so I'll probably go back for those two items specifically, but you know, maybe nothing else. So, all right, that's all on the, um, on the, um, grocery outlet haul. And, uh, let's dig into the Dollar Tree haul. All right, so at Dollar Tree, I got cards. These guys have uh, cards two for a dollar. And they're cute little cards and you can find them for everybody. I went ahead and bought up a few because um, my grandson turned 15 today and um, I try to buy cards when I, you know, see some cute ones that I think will, you know, the kids will enjoy because I have seven grandkids and uh my oldest one just turned 15 today so happy birthday son uh i love you um so i just picked up i think like three dollars worth of cards so i got six cards 50 cents a piece so you can't beat it uh also i got some snack carriers, the little, little Ziploc baggies, the smaller ones, and uh, I like to uh, eat like trail mixes and stuff with cherries and pineapple and banana chips and stuff like that, and sometimes I like to take it to work, and so I can put some in one of these and not have to waste a bigger bag, and um, it's perfect, and it fits right in my purse, so it makes it easy to carry. Uh, so I got one of these for a buck 25 and everything here from the dollar tree was a dollar 25 except for the cards those were 50 cents each okay so i got two boxes of their regular sandwich bags there's 45 in there for a buck 25 not bad and i don't use the bigger sandwich bags except for when i go to the beach so like four or five months I use them and sometimes I reuse them so uh then I got a box of these everybody needs to have this right here these are uh you have bowls in your cabinet that don't have lids to them <laughs> and these things will fit over the top of your bowls and I found out about these from watching Homestead Corner, a lady up in uh, Maine, and I just happened to be watching one of her videos one day and saw that, and uh, I've been a fan ever since. So it comes with 17 in the back in the box, so you get a good variety. There is um, four small, seven medium, and six large, and they're washable, and you can reuse them. Okay. Also, I picked up glow sticks, okay? When the power goes out or uh, or you're stranded in your car somewhere and you need some light, and these are excellent for lighting. If you can't, you know, uh, if you don't have access to a flashlight or anything, if you've got kids, you probably got these everywhere. But I buy the bigger ones, I buy the stick batons, and I try to buy either the yellow or the green, but this time they only had a yellow, one yellow, and then they had a variety pack, and there's like two green, one orange, and one purple in this one. So, 
I got two green ones out of that anyway. Um, batteries. I needed batteries. And because I was looking at what I had and I didn't have enough AA batteries. So I got two eight packs of, you know, AA batteries. These little things right here. Can you see? <laughs> I'm not really good at this, y'all. I'm just a work in progress. Um, so I got two eight packs and then I got a six pack because I saw the six pack first and then I just went ahead and got the two eight packs. So, because everything is nowadays is either AA or AAA batteries. And I also have C and D, so you need to keep those around too because those are uh, more for your bigger flashlights and stuff. Um, I got soap. I got... Uh, Yardley's Shea Buttermilk. It smells really good. And a Pears soap. This is a really old company. So, uh, and I've used their soap before. And it's not my favorite, but in a pinch it'll do. So, uh, soap doesn't go bad. So, you can, you know, put it away. And then I got... Uh, some carpet armor and hammer and um so i work in a restaurant when i come in i don't take my sh i try to take my shoes off at the door and leave them but sometimes i just got a lot of my mind in it and i just walk right through and it's just you know restaurant smells everywhere so i'll throw this on my carpet once a week and freshen it up a little bit and I don't have carpet. Carpet, I have a rug. Uh, I wouldn't live with a carpeted house ever again like that. Um, okay, off topic. In, okay, also I got two of these energy blends. It comes with different uh, types of nuts. Pecans, walnuts, uh, peanuts, cashews, and almonds. And it's got little sesame sticks in it. Uh and that's a real good little snack, and it gives you, let's see, 8 grams of protein, and the expiration date on them is not till 2024, so I always keep these around. When I can find them, I get them, because they're great. They're a great little snack. All right, ginger snaps. Who doesn't like ginger snap cookies? I don't know how to make these. But I probably need to learn. Uh, but I love to take them and dunk them in my coffee sometimes. I like that little spiciness of the ginger. Really good. For a buck twenty-five, you can't go bad. You can't go wrong with that. Um, Hunt's pasta sauce. Like I said, me and tomatoes aren't getting along very well right now. So, I have to... Uh, Get my tomatoes where I can. <laughs> and uh, it was a dollar twenty-five. They were a dollar, but nothing in their store anymore really is a dollar. So um but this was the only can that was on the shelf that wasn't dented. And uh the expiration date on it is December 2023. So I got a while before I have to use it. So I just pick up, you know. Little things here and there. Kind of have a little backup of everything so that if something happens and I'm not able to go grocery shopping or anything, I have stuff. You know, I just... And it's a working pantry, so everything gets rotated based on the date. So, um, I am using this stuff constantly. And so... And when I go in, I check in my pantry and I go through and I see what is getting close to, you know, the best by date. And I'll pull it out and put together meals with it. And then I, that's what I'll eat for myself. You know, just me. I can make something and nine times out of ten, I can get three or four good meals out of it. So, it, you know, popcorn. Who does not love popcorn? I... I'm from Memphis, okay? And this right here 
is the best popcorn in the world. It is Brim's. Um, it's, they're a family that lives in Bartlett, Tennessee, and they are, they are owned and run and have been for years. They have, their white cheddar popcorn is really good too, but this right here is the best popcorn. I love this. When I'm watching a movie, these, that you can't find a better pop popcorn anywhere. And that big of a bag for a dollar twenty-five, fantastic. Um, and I bought two paper towel racks. Okay, now I didn't buy these for paper towels because I already have plenty of those. But what I did buy these for. I saw on a video the other day, I can't remember the channel I was watching, but, um, I'll think of it. Anyway, my cannon lids, she had them stacked on the, um, paper towel holders. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? So, I saw these and I picked them up because I was like, I've got all my, um, cannon lids in a paper bag and oh my gosh that's gonna make things so much easier <laughs> but that's it for my hauls from a uh, grocery outlet and from Dollar Tree and I didn't spend a whole lot of money I spent $50 and um, but I got some things that I needed and <clears throat> everything that I got will be used uh, but when you go, if you have a little extra money to say, like, buy an extra pack of batteries or buy an extra pack of tea lights or, uh, buy some little snacks, you know, to put back. Because everybody likes sweets and treats, and so I think that's important to have, too. And, like I said, everything is rotated, so nothing is, sits on the shelf and not get used. Everything is rotated. And so, but it's, you know, you can do this and I want everybody to be prepared for something just in case it happens. Um, the world's a little crazy right now with the gas prices being the way they are and uh, food prices going up. Things are going up and um, it's getting harder and harder to... Uh, come by things and so if you're you know have a little few extra dollars maybe you have some coin change laying around you know take that and use that as buy a can of tomato sauce buy a can of tuna you know whatever every little bit helps and every little bit it adds up so uh don't think it's too late to start getting, you know, some extra stuff around the house. And I know a lot of you might not have a lot of room to put things, but you find unique places, you know. I have a shelf in my utility room. Um, I have a pantry in my kitchen. And so everything is rotated from one spot to the next. And so uh, I just want you guys to um, know that you can and you should. Because I know a lot of you have babies. And it's important to have things around, you know, when mama's sick and can't go out and get anything, you know, there's things in the house that you can fix. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you for coming and hanging out. And, uh, like I said, one thing at a time, one extra, that's all you need anytime you go out. All right? If you, if you find this uh, video informative and you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me comments in the comment section because I love checking to see if you guys, you know, have any uh, thoughts or questions or anything. So just feel free to leave me a comment. And i really like to know how I'm doing if you think you, you know, everything is okay. Like I said, I don't know where to look at the camera when I'm talking to you. I just look. And uh, this is just like a fly by the seat of my pants type thing that I'm trying to do to, you know, get some information out. Let people know what's going on and, you know, 
how to kind of keep yourself prepared for things. Um, so thank you for coming and I'll see you next time.